what's going on guys welcome back to another apex legends video i hope you're all having an amazing day wherever you are as always and today i'm just going to be giving you guys what i think are five useful tips to know for season three in apex legends and i actually was not going to upload this video at all since it's already taken me so long to do it but you know i just figured some of you may not even know these tips yet and i think they're like i said pretty useful and super important to know um and i just love helping you guys out in general so you know if you guys can do me a huge favor and hit that like button for me because it does help out so much and it just lets me know that you guys are you know enjoying the content and all that or if you're just new here on my channel you know feel free to subscribe for some more apex legends content and yeah with that being said let's just go ahead and get right into it so the first tip that i got for you guys is to just drop your shield as soon as you notice that crypto triggers the emp on his drone and the reason why this is super useful is because it just saves time and it saves shield cells or shield batteries, you know, whichever one. Uh, you're going to see right here, I pick up a fresh shield and I drop it right away before the EMP actually goes off. So that way when I pick it back up, I'm still at 200 health. And, um, you know, I'm assuming only a small amount of you already knew about this, but I know there are a bunch of you that didn't. So, yeah, you know, once the EMP goes off, like I said, it only damages shields and not flesh. So if you go into your inventory and drop your shield before the EMP goes off, you'll notice that once you pick it back up, it wasn't damaged at all. And, uh, you know, this is a crazy 200 IQ play in my opinion, and it does require you to react super fast. But I think it's definitely worth it, and it helps out a lot when, you know, there are enemies around you that are using crypto. The second tip that I got for you guys is to shoot the drone and not the ball. You'll see me right here, I shoot down the drone right when the ball turns gold, which is super easy in my opinion, and the best possible outcome, I do end up getting gold armor out of it, which is obviously pretty awesome. Um, and I was actually not going to include this tip at all because I thought the majority of players already knew about this one, but apparently not because I was spectating my teammate in pubs the other day and he was shooting right at the ball, which obviously, you know, some of you, or most of you, I hope, already know that once you shoot at the ball, the drone actually does speed up, which makes it a little more difficult to, you know, shoot it down. And my teammate ended up getting some whack ass loot out of it. So, yeah, that's why I just wanted to quickly throw in this tip in there because I thought it was useful. Uh, so obviously, I know some of you already knew about this one, but I know some of you probably don't. So, yeah, that's the second tip. Just shoot down the drone and not the ball. The third and probably most important tip is to just take advantage of the finishers. If you didn't know already, when you complete a finisher on someone, your shield does get fully charged up and this just saves up so much time in shield cells or shield batteries. Um, every legend in the game now has this ability ever since they changed the gold shield and uh, gold backpack. But you know, before going for the finisher, it is extremely, extremely important to know the situation and just understand if the finisher is even necessary in that situation. Like just a second ago, you saw me go for the finisher on that Wraith and uh, get fully charged up for that blue shield. Um, just because I wanted to get back into the fight with my squad, I could have very easily uh, thirsted that Wraith and armor swap for the purple. But yeah, like I said, I just wanted to get back in the fight as soon as possible with my squad. Um, so yeah, this is just such a useful tip in my opinion. It's I don't think enough people use this one. Um, I always feel bogus going for the finisher, but now in season three, if it means it's gonna, you know, save me time and shields, then I'm gonna definitely do it every single time, and you guys should definitely take advantage of it as well. The fourth tip is to start getting used to using those long range weapons if you haven't already. It's pretty obvious how much bigger this map is compared to King's Canyon, so that's why I think it is super important to start using those long range guns, like I said, and just get comfortable with them. I would definitely recommend using the charge rifle as much as you want right now before it gets nerfed because I mean I'm like 99% sure they're going to nerf that gun. I mean it is ridiculously overpowered in my opinion and everyone feels the exact same way on Twitter. So uh, it's like I said it's just super strong and overpowered because you don't have to lead your shots. It has like no drop off whatsoever or anything like that. But yeah, just try to pick up any of the snipers on the map and start getting used to it because there's so much open space and there are a lot more long range fights on this map compared to, like I said, Kings Canyon. And lastly, the fifth tip that I got is to just avoid open space. This is basically the counter to the last tip that I gave you guys, which was use long range weapons and, you know, get comfortable with them. 
you will get absolutely demolished by everyone in the lobby using longbows and especially charge rifles if you're just chilling in an open area like i said before it's obvious how huge this map is so it makes it extremely difficult when you're just you know a sitting duck getting shot from every angle possible uh, especially if you're using legends like lifeline bloodhound or uh, caustic uh, or even like you know newly added uh, crypto so depending on the situation you always gotta decide whether it's safe to push out or not that's why i think legends like pathfinder bangalore and wraith are even better than before their abilities are much more useful on this map than they were in king's canyon so yeah just know your surroundings at all times and always think before you act that way you don't put yourself in like some sticky situations but yeah that's all i got for you guys those were in my opinion five useful tips for season three in apex legends like i said i took too long to upload this video but i just decided to finally put it together and uh, throw it out there so that i could help you guys out a bit so yeah hopefully you guys learned at least one thing from this and hopefully you guys did enjoy the video most of all but yeah thank you so much for watching guys don't forget to leave a like if you did enjoy or subscribe if you're new and i'm gonna catch y'all on the next one peace